So he broke the rules. He did what no wildlife film cameraman and no serious scientist should do, according to established thinking. He decided he was going to interfere. But what was he going to do? Well, he had to look, he had to look at the, the, the cause of the problem was quite simple to start with. Los Angeles, spread out, growing, masses of rubbish, masses of rubbish, masses of scavengers. And in particular, in this case, it was ravens. And the raven population has gone up in Los Angeles by 700%. And these are very intelligent birds, corvids. They learn from each other. And what was happening was, not they weren't just happy with scavenging on the garbage that was left around in the dumpsters out in uh, Los Angeles suburbs. Oh, no, they wanted to get out to the cattle feeds because the cattle feeds were really just amazing <coughs> sources of food for them. They could just go and feed whenever they wanted. So they went out and ate there. But then they discovered the caviar. And the caviar, sad to say, was the young Mojave Desert tortoises, which were wandering around the desert. And normally, okay, yes, some would fall victim to predators, but when you've got a 700% increase in a major predator, you have a serious problem because what the ravens do to get to the tortoises is they flip them over onto their backs and then they actually peck into their plastron and eat them from there. And the tragedy <coughs> is it takes five years until one of these baby hatchlings is big enough so that the ravens can't do that. So the numbers... It's not surprising that in Tim's 25 years, the numbers went down like that. But he thought, well, there must be a solution to this in terms of technology. 